vandalism, trespassing, breaking windows, shutting down campuses, forcing the cancellation of classes and graduations. None of this is a peaceful protest. Threatening people, intimidating people, instilling fear in people is not a peaceful protest. It's against the law. Dissent is essential to democracy. But dissent must never lead to disorder or to denying the rights of others so students can finish the semester and their college education. So this is what's been breaking news this hour. We showed you live the president, wanted you to see his comments again moments ago, because if there could have been a reporter follow-up, it would have been about, well, what about the hate speech and people not feeling safe? Are you going to tell the campuses to do more, particularly the private campuses that have the ability to expel and Basically, in people's careers, if any of them are here illegally, they lose their foreign visas. None of that could even be asked about because he walked out the door. Now, this was the first time we had heard from the president on this issue in nine days. That silence has many people asking, where is Biden? Yesterday, Republican senators tore into the administration. Watch. These little Gazas are disgusting cesspools of anti-Semitic hate full of pro-Hamas sympathizers, fanatics, and freaks. The universities need to put an end to this now. If they don't, they should kiss, kiss their federal funding goodbye. Our Jewish students are being told it's not safe for you to be there anymore. I can't imagine any other group on campus that university officials would say it's no longer safe for you to be here. President Biden is scared to death to alienate the Hamas wing of the Democratic Party. You should call it for what it is. Rule by mob. Rule by mob. Um, a belief in diversity, equity, inclusion, and the right to kill Jews. And it's wrong. Republican Senator John Kennedy of Louisiana is with me now. Uh, why is President Biden afraid to do the right thing? Well, Harris, the mayhem you see is an effort to put pressure on President Biden, and it's working. What we're seeing happening on our college campuses is, a, is an X-ray of the Democratic Party as it exists at the moment. You have college presidents who are Democrats at war with faculty members and students who are also Democrats, but they're special kind of Democrats. As I said, they're members of the Hamas wing of the Democratic Party. And they believe in diversity, equity, inclusion, and the right to kill Jews. They want to change Middle Eastern policy for the United States. They want America to turn its back on Israel and uh, the Jewish people and support Iran and Hamas. Now, they can't get Congress to go along with that. They can't get the courts to go along with that, so they have to get Biden to do it. And President Biden, with respect, he is old, uh, he is weak. We'll all get there someday. I mean, I'm sorry, but it, it takes longer than medical school for him to walk across the stage. And he's polling right up there with robocalls. He's weak politically. He knows he has to have the Hamas wing of the Democratic Party to be reelected. He's scared, as my dad used to say, he's nervous as a pregnant nun. Uh, and what they're doing to him is working. The president started out as a full-throated supporter of Israel. Now, oh my gosh, you don't, you don't recognize him. Um, he, he wants to leave Hamas in charge of Rafah in southern Gaza. Uh, he, he's told the Israelis they have to get a new prime minister because the current one's too tough. Uh, he wants to bring in the Palestine Liberation Authority to, uh, to take over Gaza. The PLA hates Jews. They want to they destroy Israel. I mean, the whole thing is, it ought to trigger the gag reflex of every American. Well, uh, you know, we've been talking a lot about gag orders. Uh, it's almost like he's under one, because what you're talking about is happening, but he's not telling us that it is, and not having to be held to account for what's going on. Uh, real quickly, with this president, what needs to happen next? Or do you think it's cost him so much politically that he can't get that young vote now? I think the president of the United States, for a change, needs to do what is moral and what is right. And in his heart, he knows. 
We need to stand with Israel and the Jewish people. We need to, to fight with everything we have against Hamas and Iran. We need to do to Hamas what we did to ISIS and Al-Qaeda. And I, I hope, I've said it before, the president needs to go to Amazon and buy a spine online and do the right thing. Are you suggesting we go to war with Israel against Hamas? No. I'm suggesting that we back Israel. Just like the president started out, he gets weaker by the day. We need to back Israel. We need to destroy Hamas, just like we did ISIS and Al-Qaeda. Mm -hmm. And we, we need to realize who's behind all this Iran. I understand the president's got political problems. Um, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, he, he made them. And just right. because the Democratic Party has been taken over by people who, who hate Israel and love Hamas, that's no reason for him to go on with it. Senator John Kennedy of the great state of Louisiana, no one puts it quite like you. I appreciate your time, your expertise at this hour. And as a nation, we are perched to see what this president can and will do. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.